Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. I am Julie and I'm so sorry I'm gonna adjust you. This keeps falling on me and it's not great. I apologize, apologize, apologize. I'm giving you this guy to look at because he's so cute. Um, I am a part-time reseller. I've been reselling for about 15 years on and off, mostly on eBay. Um, I do have some things on eBay right now, not a ton, a lot of hard goods, vintage hard goods. So my favorite things to sell are jewelry, handbags, a little bit of shoes, not a ton. Um, and I love to sell like vintage uh, figurines and vintage hard goods kind of stuff. So if you're into that, this might be a great place to be. I recently started selling on Whatnot. And if you guys have not heard of Whatnot, <laughs> and not gotten over to whatnot, what are you waiting for? Sorry, I'm bumping the camera. This is only my second video, so please bear with me. So, I was on an auction by Mama, your jewelry lady, on whatnot, and I bought all of this jewelry. So I thought we could open it together. If you see anything that you love, 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 and must have, you can either email me, um, my email's in the description box, or you can go see me on whatnot under the same name my mama and me and i will be auctioning off um at just about everything you see and things start with low bids on whatnot it's really a fun platform so check it out okay enough talking sorry about that i'm gonna set this to the side and pull out pieces and see what we've got Mama, my jewelry lady, and I hope I'm saying that right. Let me see if I have her invoice in here. Um, she is a really amazing whatnot seller because she is on almost every single day, which is fun because you kind of get to see your peeps that you like. And there's um, a chat going at the same time. It's a lot like a YouTube auction, except um, payment comes out directly from your account right away when you win an auction and um, whatnot is responsible for all the payments and things and on YouTube the sellers are responsible for that okay so this is all in bags so I'm gonna leave it so we can look at it but it's gonna take a second to open apologize for that all right let's check this guy out okay Woo, pretty Let's see, she is marked, let's see. Uh, I can't see, I got my loop. I can't be all fancy yet and put like the loop over the thing and I, I, I don't even know. I'm gonna have to work on that. <laughs> Let me see. I think it says Cerakov, but I'm having a hard time seeing it, guys. Oh boy, taking forever. I think it says Sarah Cove, guys. I'm not positive. I'll look at it more off camera so I'm not being annoying. Okay, beautiful leaf brooch. Good for this time of year. Fall is coming here in New Hampshire where I live. And these are like um, baguette style rhinestones. It's really pretty. Um, silver tone. Sorry, I wanted to take a peek. It is silver tone. Sometimes the lights make things look gold tone on, on video. Let's get a length. Now, the cool thing about this being Sarah Coventry is on Saturday, October 22nd of 2022, I am doing an auction over on Whatnot at 3 p.m. Eastern time of only Sarah Coventry and Monet products. So, jewelry, excuse me. If you are into that, into Monet or Sarah Coventry, it is the place to be. So I would love to see you there. Okay umbrella cute little bit of verdigris no oh my gosh that's so crazy i really thought there was verdigris there the camera is crazy and let's see any markings maybe something right there let me see let me see well there's some fuzz from a sweater so thank you for that little deposit um it says NS, NS, I have no clue what that is. 
but it is really cute. Look at the little enamel, um, enamel, what is this thing called? Ah, old brain. <laughs> enamel uh, umbrella, yes, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. Um, this guy has a, uh, let's see, let's make that nice and straight. Has, uh, just about an eight inch drop, guys. Really cute, gold tone. Gorgeous. Okay, so I don't do a lot of stuff with men's stuff, but some people have really great success with it, I've heard. Um, this is a, is this called a Thai bar, I believe? Uh, let me know in the comments. I think it is. It doesn't look like anything super, super exciting. Oh, wait, there's words. There's words. Let's see what it says. It says, ow, oh, boring. Oh, no, no, no. It says, our Anson, A-N-S-O-N, and patent pending. I thought it just said patent pending. I was like, oh, boring. Silver tone. It kind of has a, like a texture on the front. Cute. Okay. I'm not spending too much time on that guy. I want to see the other little bobbles. All right. Oh, this is going to be great. So plugging another sale. Sorry, that might be annoying. I apologize if it is, but I am going to be selling holiday Christmas uh, and winter jewelry also on whatnot and an auction. And it, that one is on Tuesday, October 25th, 2022, 5 p.m. Eastern. I typically stay on Whatnot for about two hours. There are some people who can stay on there forever doing an auction, but I am... Oh, this is Jerry's, guys. I am usually pretty pooped um, by two, the two-hour mark. This is about an inch and three-quarter tall. Now, watching, on the other hand... And that I could do for hours. <laughs> it's pretty fantastic. Okay, let's see. Okay, we've got some breast cancer awareness little charms. These would be cute made into little earrings. See, my camera definitely does weird colors because those are a little bit more pinky. They are kind of lavender though, honestly, out from under the light. Let's see. Um, they have a little marking too, guys. I'm just going to check it out quickly. Oh, they say 925. No way. Okay. So what I'll do, they looked cool. No, they are silver tone. So what I'll do is off camera, because I don't have it right here, I'll test these and make sure they are. And maybe I'll put some ear wires on them and they'll be cute little earrings. I am going to do a sterling silver show at some point. I don't have that scheduled yet. I think we have an Alex and Ani. Let's see. Where's the tag? There it is. Alex and Ani. Doop, doop, right there. It is Aphrodite's flower, passion, desire, and ecstasy. Oh boy, from 2016. And it is silver tone, guys, adjustable like all of them are. Um, so this, for me, I'm gonna put this in what I call a designer box, and I'm honestly copying. I watched a lady selling jewelry on Whatnot yesterday, and she did designer jewelry shows. And by designer, she did it would have like Kate Spade, Tori Birch, but she also included things like Alex Anani and J. Crew. Um, who else? And Ann Klein, Ann Taylor, those kind of things. Oh my goodness, my nails look really dirty. I scrubbed them too. Oh my gosh, I hate that. Sorry about that, guys. Please ignore. Anyway, I'm gonna set that guy off to the side. It's really pretty. And let's open another bag. Rings, yay. Okay, so if I'm honest, I really wanted this ring for myself. <laughs> I used to have a ring that looked so similar to this, guys. And I lost a sapphire out of it. This is not real, by the way. Um, I lost a sapphire out of it and I ended up just getting rid of the ring, which was so sad. I wish I had had it fixed because I really loved it. I had it in college. Um, so this one I'm going to say NSF. I'm sorry, not for sale for now. I'm going to hold on to it. So we have a glass, um, not glass. What is it? <laughs> Plastic. 
What's the difference between plastic and acrylic, guys? Is it the same thing? I should Google this. I don't know the answer. Seven and a half. All right. Remember, you can email me for pricing if there's anything you're in love with or head over to whatnot, guys. This is interesting. <laughs> I'm going to pull it off camera for a second so I can peek. Very, a little weird, honestly. It looks like a wedding set, but the diamonds are only on one half of the band. They're not real diamonds, by the way. Sorry. The stones, I should say. Oh, there is a little marking in there. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Uh, JH. No clue. I used to be really pretty good with the markings, and I just have lost a lot of them because honestly, most of my jewelry that I have, which I have a ton of, I purchased six and a quarter. Um, I purchased, um, a couple years ago. So, and then I kind of didn't do much with it and you know, these things happen. So I think, yeah. Can you see how they're different colors guys? Like this is like a lighter gold tone and this is like a darker gold tone. Those are really cool. Um, Let's see what size these guys are. Uh, I would say a six and a six. Too small for these chunker fingers I got. Oh, and please ignore this. My niece's dog was a little bit too excited to see me. I was very excited to see him too, but I didn't scratch him, so. <laughs> this is really pretty. I love how dainty it is, and I guarantee this would never fit me either because I have big wrists, unfortunately, which is really sad because bracelets are like my favorite kind of jewelry. Bracelets and rings, but bracelets the most. That's really pretty, guys. No markings that I could see. Let me measure it on the bracelet. Magic bracelet measurer. It is a seven. Gold tone. Really pretty. I really like that. Okay, let's put her back here on this beautiful trinket dish. And we already did the Alex and Ani. Get out of the way, dude. Let's move these bags out of the way, too. That's probably pretty ugly. And we have some, ooh, all right, earrings, a brooch, some, yeah, cufflinks. Yes, old brain. <laughs> okay, let's look at these guys first. Clippies with a faux pearl, I'm assuming, but let's just give it a quick little scratcher. Boop, boop, doop, boop, doop. No, not really resistance there. And a clear plastic heart. Oh, guys, I know what these are. Okay, there is a little bit of discoloration right here on the back. There's a mustard seed in them. Can you guys see that? Do you see that? And I believe the mustard seed, there's a story in the Bible that um, is about that. And I also believe that um, in general, if I remember correctly, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, nicely please, um, that it's about not giving up if I remember correctly. So let me set those to the side. Those are really pretty. Then we have these silver tone screw backs. I'm just going to pull them out and see if I can see any markings on them, guys. Uh, yep, there is. It's on the actual thing. Oh, pat a patent pending. All right. These are a little bit bent up, so I would probably put these on the mandrel and see if I can straighten them. But other than that, they're in really good condition. Screwbacks. Very nice. Okay, let's set those to the side. And we have a brooch. Oh, is that Mary, the Madonna? And with a pearl, I would assume faux pearl also, it feels like it. Silver tone, she's pretty. Any markings? You guys see any markings? If you do, shout it out. I wish you could talk back to me. Well, I, I don't know if that's true, honestly. <laughs> I have wanted to make a YouTube video for a very, very long time. And I have not because I'm really afraid of trolls. I do not have a thick skin. I tend to take things to heart. So 
maybe I wouldn't want everybody talking to me, just the really nice people. <laughs> Pretty silver tone cufflinks. I don't see any markings. Those are really pretty. Again, I don't do a ton with men's, but those are nice. Okay. Ooh, okay, we got another jewelry burrito right here. So I had an auction on whatnot um, on Saturday, this past Saturday. Today is Sunday, so yesterday. I just got, all, ooh, that was loud. I'm sorry, guys. I just got everything all packaged up and ready to go. That's like a big thing on whatnot. They want you to make sure that you are getting your things out in the mail ASAP. So it's nice you get your things right away. This looks like a nice little vintage necklace lot, guys. Let's check it out. Ooh, she's pretty. Hey now. Really pretty. Gold tone. I don't see a lot of wear. A lot of times you'll see wear like at each joint of these guys and I don't see that, which is awesome. Um, it has this hook that can hook into this end. Now this seems a little short. I wonder if part of this is missing, but it could still work. I'm just gonna peek and see if I can see any markings. I do not see anything, but it, is for sure vintage. Let's get a length on it. And whatever I tell you, obviously it could fit smaller than that too because there is an extender. So at the longest, I would say like 14 and a half inches would probably be the longest. That's really pretty. Let's make a little parallel lines of vintage necklaces. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I bumped you, jeepers, jeepers. How many times have I bumped you and not realized it? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> But try to be nice, please, please. <laughs> okay, guys, these are tangled, so give me two seconds. These have the same little hanger dangler thingy here, this guy, which probably means somebody, and I should really probably know it, but I'm hoping it's marked in some other way. Oh, it's Coro, yay! So, in my last video, I was mentioning that I got a Coro piece in that video, which was awesome. Oh, this is so pretty. Missing rhinestones. Bummer. I might be able to replace those. I do have rhinestones, but they're missing here. All the dark spots. But it is really pretty. But those are like the easy rhinestones if I can get them to match. And I obviously will tell people that I did that. Anyway, though, the cool thing about getting Coro is that I am having a Coro auction. I know I'm plugging again. I'm sorry, but I just want all of you guys to come. Whatnot is so fun. I was really nervous my first auction and then it just was honestly so fun on the longest I'd say like 17 and a half guys so I'm selling I'm doing two vintage sales coming up on Saturday the 22nd 2022 oh it's October excuse me Saturday October 22nd 2022 um we are excuse me I there is no we except my mom does moderate for me which I appreciate greatly she's the mama part of my mama and me um so saturday october 22nd 3 p.m eastern we are selling monet and sarah coventry so if you are a monet and sarah coventry lover this is also coro guys this is really pretty silver tone leaves and no rhinestones to be missing which is always a nice thing Let's see how long this is. So if you love Monet or Sarah Coventry, please come. And then the cool thing about getting Coro is I'm having a Coro sale. Coro auction, I should say. 16 inches, guys. Um, a Coro auction on Saturday, October 29th, 2022, 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, I typically go on for about two hours, like I said. Um, I'm going to sell Napier, Trafari, Crown Trafari, and Coro. So another vintage sale. Uh, and prices, I'm I was trying to decide this earlier. I think most things are going to have a starting bid of 3 or $4. Some of the stuff will be um, a little higher, and that probably is just $5. Nothing crazy. Um, little leather snap bracelet. Uh, let's see. How about you want to bet the wrong side? Always. I need a little star. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put like a little star on that side or a sticker. 
Okay, so we're like at eight inches. Oh boy, that's not true, Julie. You are lying, lies, lies, lies. We're at like eight and a half inches and then like seven and a half. So eight and a half or seven and a half on that guy. Okay, anybody wear leather bracelets like that? I have a whole bunch that I just found in one of my jewelry bins. Okay, next bag, can you hear it? Here it comes. This is interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Broken, but interesting. Look at guys, it's like, I don't know what this is. I don't think it's pewter, I guess possibly. Let's see if the, what it has on the back can tell us. I mean, I have to pull it around. Uh, it says Fashion Art PE63878. So maybe PE is for pewter. I could, I could be wrong about that. It is missing its actual pin, though. Very cool piece. It has a very um, industrial feel to it. Three inches long. Okay, put that guy back there. All right, next burrito. This one's kind of short and chubby instead of long and skinny like a burrito. This one's a Big Mac. Nah, 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 nah. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Okay, we got a cheeseburger. Let's put the stuff down. If you see it already, is that cheating? Oh, do you know what's so funny? I think I have this exact clamper bracelet for sale. Well, in a bin, I should say. For sale kind of alludes to, I actually got my butt in gear and listed it, which would not be the case. <laughs> but this is really pretty silver tone. It's antiqued leaves. Um, and I would like to see, I thought I saw something. No, no marks. Let me put it on my bracelet measurer. Oh boy, there I go again. You guys should um, drink every time I hit the camera. That would be fun, right? That might make you sick. <laughs> Six and three quarter, guys, on this gorgeous clamper. You need this in your life, I think. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, is this Precious Moments? It is. Precious Moments. Precious Moments and a piece of a watch in the same bag. But that's kind of cool because I have... I'm also a crafty kind of person. I really love crafting. Um, and I have a whole thing of watch parts. So I will put that in there. A little precious moment, sweetie. Um, you are always there for me. Wow, nice job, Julie. You saw it. She's a cute little pin. Little angel. And we have another brooch with a picture on it. I think the last one we had was in the last video, <laughs> but I did these back to back. So uh, I would bet that's transfer. I'll peek quickly and tell you for sure, but I am 99% sure. I just want to be sure. Yes. Transfer, like a courting scene. Very cute. Gold tone pin. And let's get a length on it. It's like an inch and three quarters, guys maybe closer to inch that way and this is like an inch and a half i have to get used to being able to see through the camera it's a little difficult there's gonna be a noise okay sorry all right got another little burrito oh boy i'm gonna cut it off camera guys sorry and sorry in advance if you're hearing the plastic i wanted to i opened um, this box ahead of time because I wasn't sure what was in it. Um, but I wanted to open this stuff and be surprised with you. Even though I did see it, I have no clue. Okay. These are cold. And they have some weight. So I'm going to guess that these are glass. Let's see. Are these real pearls or faux pearls? Faux pearls. It's like a smoky color, guys. I'm not saying they're smoky topaz because they're not, but it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. They're like a gray-brown with gold stations here. Awesome. And if I had a magnet, we could see if it was magnetic, but I did not bring one. Did not think of that. 
Okay, last little parcel here. So this one is like steak size, and I think I keep refer oh camera. I keep think I keep referring to food because I'm actually starving. And I asked my hubby if he would go down and pick up Chinese. And you know what he said? He said, I already did my dinner night this week. But, but anyway. <laughs> All right. Pink acrylic little bracelet. I believe this is vintage because I think that this style here is vintage and I don't want to break it. it. Doesn't it just pull though? I'm pretty sure it pops. Okay, I'm not going to do that right now. Very cute. Size. This would be really sweet for a little girl, but it is a seven inch, so maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, put that down there. We have a plastic leaf pen with acorns. Any writing? There is. What does it say? It says Hallmark. Let me see if that's a date. Then we'll just know. Hallmark Cards Ink. Hallmark Cards Ink. Okay. Ooh, a ring. That's cute. Ooh, silver tone. There's scuffing here, guys. See anything in there? Ooh, it might say nine to five. I think it does. It does. So I will test that off camera and see. And there's an NV, letter N and a letter V. And these are little stones in here, guys. Uh, like bluish one, uh, red, and what color is this one? Like a uh, purpley. It's really pretty. Really pretty. Let's get a size. Eight and a half, guys. Eight and a half. I think since it's silver, they could buff this out, but I don't quote me on that. I might be making that up. <laughs> okay, if you found an earring, you have to wait for a match. Oh my, wait till you guys see these. <laughs> these are cool though. I like them. It's almost like two earrings are paired together. I really think somebody did this actually. Look at, <laughs> like they're different metal tones and they kind of seem like really different styles, but let me see if they're like cut, no. Anyway, they're kind of cool. It's like, I can be soft and pretty and feminine. And then I can be a really cool rocker chick too. Don't try to put me in a box. I could be anything I want. <laughs> okay, let's see how long they're. I kind of like them. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, three inches long guys. Post, back, didn't see any markings. I think somebody put these together, but I could be wrong. Okay, oh, another ring. Oh, she's cute, a little dainty, or a midi for someone like me. Ooh, oh boy, I like that. Not good, I'm supposed to sell jewelry, not keep jewelry. It says Avon. Avon, Avon, Avon. And I think that is plastic there for a stone. And it is, well, if it's plastic, then it's from a stone, right? I would think. Avon, size five. Nice midi ring or for someone with dainty fingers. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, uh, a magnetite bracelet. Stretch, stretch is good. It sits at seven and three quarter. I'm going to go a tiny bit faster because I literally really am starving. I'm so hungry. I should have had dinner first. Okay. Wood earrings. Pretty. Nice little mid-century modern feel with those. These? I was feeling this one because I felt this one come out. <sighs> Guys, it almost feels like faux leather. That's what I think. Like faux leather braided post earrings. They're pretty chunky. They're about an inch square. Um, another stretchy. 
This one's for a little girl. Who is that? Belle, right? No kids here, guys. Sorry. Lots of nieces and nephews. It sits at a five and a half. So I have not watched every Disney movie 5,000 times. Like I'm sure most parents probably have. Oh, I like this, guys. It could use a little cleaning. I wonder if this will be fat wrist friendly. That would be really exciting. <laughs> if I can figure it out, I definitely will show it to you. Okay, got it. Look at red and white stones. I really like it. With the cool clasp with double safeties. Let's see if there are any markings. Wouldn't this be cool if it were gold and diamonds? Ah, alas, no markings, and it is definitely not. Do you see the wear? The wear looks crazy on here. And look, it's every other one just on the red stones. The red stones bled. I might try to clean it, and because I try to save some of the misfits. It is okay, guys. Sixteen minus nine, seven inches. It would fit me, but tightly. And she's a little misfit, so I might try. This looks like something somebody made. It's cute. I might throw it in my critter sale just because there's a dragonfly. Super cute. I'm doing a, a stretchy, oh, I don't like that. I'm gonna actually put that into craft. And I do sell craft lots, guys. I don't have any listed, but if you're interested in any, just let me know and I can do that for you. Okay, what are these? Look, guys. <laughs> I can't figure out what they are. Hold on, I gotta look better. Okay, so it's some kind of person thing, maybe native ish. And supposedly they have 10 carat gold posts. So that's really exciting. Little dainties. I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna do a reverse image search on Google which helps you find everything. Okay, I'm pulling this out because it has a magnetic clasp. Uh, maybe I'm not. This one is a magnetic clasp. Oh, this is it, okay. Here's the magnetic, I think, yeah. That's getting everything. Figaro, I think that's called. Um, silver tone, pretty good shape. Pretty good shape, it has a Drop of 21 minus 12. Oh boy, that one's gonna be hard for me. Okay, 20 minus 11, I can do that. Nine inch drop, so like an 18 inch chain. Really nice. Okay, what's this guy? This guy, doo -doo, like a rope chain, it has a spring ring. Let's see, I see a little marking, guys. Let's see what it says. 925. Ooh, I really wish I had my magnet up here because if that is 925, it's got some good weight to it. Let's see. Uh, oh, why am I doing it like this? Are you guys yelling at me? Use your other tape measure. 11 inch drop, guys. So like a 22 inch necklace or so. Okay. We are getting messy here. Lots of littles left. Okay, herringbone chain, gold tone, I would assume, but we'll peek just to be sure. Wouldn't that be something? It does say something, but I'm not sure what that says. Let's see. It says 14 carat, but I don't know. That would be pretty fantastic. So guys, what I'm gonna do is I'll test everything and in my next video, I'll say, this was, this wasn't, blah, blah, blah. So we can talk about it and see. And I will have my magnet next time. I think that says Coro. Does it? Oh, boy. Coro. Going in my Coro sale. Boop, 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 boop. On whatnot. If you guys, I know I keep plugging these shows, but if you go on whatnot and search for my mama and me, and it's mama, M-O-M-M-A, -M -M -A, just like it's spelled for, that you can see right here for um, for YouTube. 
you can follow me and then you can also bookmark my sales so that you can see exactly what I have coming up. Oh, there's pictures. Look, guys. Let's name them. Let's see. I think he looks like a Gary. And this little angel oh, looks like, oh, Gary the third, grandpa and grandson. Very cute. Heart locket with a little bow pin. I really like it. Okay, let's leave that there. Oh, we're getting to the end, guys. Lots of littles in the end of this. Oh, I remember this thing when I bought it. I was like, that's neat. I think what she did with this was a stacker, which is so fun. I don't watch a lot of um, auctions on YouTube, so this might be a thing, and I'm telling you something you already know. So forgive me if it is. These have serious weight to them. They're nice silver tone with some rhinestones. Butterflies going to go in my critter sale. Oh, butterfly pin. Also, critter sale. Anything animal, guys. Very nice. Okay, so what was I saying? <laughs> oh, a stack. So I think this was one of the first things down on the table. Okay? And I was like, ooh, that's cool. And it says something really neat. And I, I can't remember. Hold on. Let me see if I can read it. <laughs> Guys, it's going to take me a thousand years to read it. But it says something very sweet about being put in someone's path and I thought it was a little pendant and I really liked it. So this was one of the first things down on the table. And as people bid, she added more stuff. So it was a stacker stacking stuff on there. There's a pendant, which I tend to really love, but they're very, very, very dangerous. <laughs> oh my gosh. I keep saying, well, it makes your cost of goods go down, right? <laughs> you can cost average everything out of the whole amount. I can't open this, guys. It's a little locket. No markings. Gold tone. These earrings are awesome. Wait till you see these. Gold tone. Oh, I really like these. I'm so boring with earrings, though. I, like, never change my earrings, if I'm honest. My husband got me a pair and I just wear them all the time. Those are really cool. And look, they have a little chain. Really cool. I'm going to tell you how long, just in case. Two inches. And let's see noise. They're not super noisy. Okay, some little star earrings posts. Those are cute. Stars with hearts in them. Oh, My little 13-year-old girl inside me likes those. A little pendant, uh, excuse me, little charm says, I love you. I do see a marking on it, guys. Let's see. Oh, a few markings. Hmm. What have we found? 925. Hmm. I don't know what that says. SL, I think. Let me see if I can have you see it, but I'm from, I mean, let's be honest here. I'm not the greatest camera person right now. Not yet. I'll get there. Look at this dainty little bobble. A little pendant. Really dainty and really pretty. Do I see any markings? Let's see. Anything? Hello? Hello? Can't talk to me. It's not answering. No, it doesn't look like gold, guys. Gold tone. And what is, oh, I think I know what this is. Is this for like a tuxedo button? I think it might be. And it has, is that an eagle? Might be. <laughs> Anybody up on their birds? Okay. And then we have a stick pin with no bottom. So um, is this cold to the touch? Is turquoise cold to the touch? Yeah, it's a rock. Yes, it will. It would be cold to the touch. No clue. But if that was turquoise, it looks like Sleeping Beauty turquoise. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, a little heart charm. It has a carved rose. 
very cute gold tone top this says h creations it's a little charm it cost a whopping dollar and 19 cents when somebody bought it <laughs> okay what have we got here we've got a little three more things a little star and a heart we have a star with hearts in it and a heart with stars in it pretty cool <laughs> I do see something on the back. Let's see what it says. It also says 925. So I will test that out. These look like pieces from a charm bracelet. Oh, this one says you and me. Oh, so cute. Mine would say you and me and the dogs. <laughs> oh, I think this one also says 925. Yep. Test that one too. And I will let you guys know next video. This one looks like faux moon glow. Ooh, wow, it's cool, huh? I don't think it's cold, but if I'm honest, I'm kind of hot, so it's hard to tell. And I'll check everything with a magnet too before I test. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. Second video. Yes, I feel like this is such an accomplishment. Definitely come visit on whatnot, okay? And please leave comments. I am always open to constructive, nice criticisms, uh, ways that I could improve. And just remember that you can be anything you want in this world. So let's all be kind. All right, talk to you later. Bye.